An easement is a non-possessory right to use in or enter onto the real property of another without possessing it. It is best typified in the right of way which one landowner a, may enjoy over the land of another. B. It is similar to real covenants and equitable servitudes in the United States. The restatement of property takes steps to merge these concepts as servitudes. Easements are helpful for providing pathways across two or more pieces of property or allowing an individual to fish in a privately owned pond. An easement is considered as a property right in itself at common law and is still treated as a type of property in most jurisdictions. The rights of an easement holder vary substantially among jurisdictions. Historically, the common law courts would enforce only four types of easement. Right of way, easements of support, easements of light and air, rights pertaining to artificial waterways. Modern courts recognize more varieties of easements, but these original categories still form the foundation of easement law. Kinds of easements, affirmative and negative easements. An affirmative easement is the right to use another's property for a specific purpose while a negative easement is the right to prevent another from performing an otherwise lawful activity on their property. For example, an affirmative easement might allow landowner A to drive their cattle over the land of B. A has an affirmative easement from B. Conversely, a negative easement might restrict A from blocking B's mountain view by putting up a wall of trees. A has a negative easement from B. Dominant and servient estate as defined by Evershed Mr. In Re Ellenborough Park, 1956, ch. 131. An easement requires the existence of at least two parties. The party gaining the benefit of the easement is the dominant estate, while the party granting the burden is the servient estate. For example, the owner of Parcel A holds an easement to use a driveway on Parcel B to gain access to A's house. Here, Parcel A is the dominant estate, receiving the benefit, and Parcel B is the servient estate, granting the benefit or suffering the burden. Public and private easements A private easement is held by private individuals or entities. A public easement grants an easement for a public use, for example, to allow the public an access over a parcel owned by an individual. A pertinent and in gross easements in the U.S. An easement appurtenant is one that benefits the dominant estate and runs with the land, i.e., an easement appurtenant generally transfers automatically when the dominant estate is transferred. Conversely, an easement in gross benefits an individual or a legal entity, rather than a dominant estate. The easement can be for a personal use or a commercial use. Historically, an easement in gross was neither assignable nor inheritable, but today commercial easements are freely transferable to a third party. They are divisible, but must be exclusive and all holders of the easement must agree to divide. If subdivided, each subdivided parcel enjoys the easement. Floating easement A floating easement exists when there is no fixed location, route, method, or limit to the right of way. For example, a right of way may cross a field without any visible path or allow egress through another building for fire safety purposes. A floating easement may be public or private, a pertinent or ingross. One case defined it as easement defined in general terms, without a definite location or description, is called a floating or roving easement. Furthermore, a floating easement becomes fixed after construction and cannot thereafter be changed. Structural encroachment Some legal scholars classify structural encroachments as a type of easement. Wayleave in British energy law and real property law. A wayleave is a type of easement used by a utility that allows a linesman to enter the premises, to install and retain the cabling or piping across private land in return for annual payments to the landowner, similar to a license or profit apprendra. A wayleave is normally a temporary arrangement and does not automatically transfer to a new owner or occupier, more generally. A wayleave agreement can be used for any service provider. In the United States, an easement in gross is used for such needs, especially for permanent rights.